So this is our question number 5. The maximum marks of each subject is 150. As students score 80 persons in mathematics, in mathematics and in English is score 70 persons of his as he score in maths. And in Hindi he scored 75 percent of his score in English. Find each score in subject. How many subjects we have? We have mathematics, we have English, we have again Hindi we have. Okay, we have uh, mathematics, English and in the three subjects we have. For three subjects we have to find the score. So solutions, okay. So total mark is given. Total maximum mark. Okay, maximum mark. I will just try to make it a more serious. Uh, Boundary years so that I can maximum marks is given is equal to 150. Okay, so uh, marks is scores in mathematics. Okay, in mathematics, he has scores. Huh? In mathematics, okay, he is score, he is score is equal to what 70 80 persons, 80 persons of total. Okay, 80 persons of total that is 150. So you have to write this one as a square 80 persons divided by 100 in the 150, 0 and 0 cancel, 0 and 0 cancel, multiply 8 into 50. So 8 fives are 40, 4 and 8, 8 are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 120 marks you have scored in mathematics. Okay, this is our mathematics. Now we will try to solve on the in Hindi, in English, okay. In English, you see, in English, in English, you have score much. In English, you have score, you have score how much? You have score as uh, seventy persons of the score in Malay. Seventy persons of the score in seventy persons of the score in Malay is obvious. Malay is obvious. So Malay is one twenty. So you have to multiply here by one twenty. So which implies that seventy persons, seventy by hundred into 120, 0 and 0 cancel, 0 and 0 cancel, your answer is 7, your answer is 7 in the top, so you multiply 7 to the 40, 1 and 7, 7, 8, 84 marks you have scored in English, okay, so this is scored in, in mathematics is 120, and in English you have scored it, 84, now in Hindi, okay, now in Hindi we have to find out, in Hindi how much you have scored, he is scored the most in Hindi. In Hindi, in Hindi he is scored. He is scored, what is it? He is scored is. You see in Hindi, what is it? In Hindi, he is scored 75 persons of his scored in English. So that is 75 persons of it. Of what is it? In English that is scored. In English, how much is scored? 84. 75 persons of 84 is the most. 75 by 100 into 84. So what is the answer here? So your answer is 63. If you multiply all this, your answer is, you can do the multiplication, then your answer is 63. So how much is square in mathematics? is square 120. Okay, in English, how much is square 84. And in Hindi, how much is square 63. Okay, in this way you can take a screenshot and then you can copy it down. Okay, so this is all for question number 5. Here is in question number 6. In a fruit go down, 800 kg apples are stored. 800 kg of apples are given in a food store. But 27 persons of them are defective. Means they are, uh, 27 persons are bad. Okay, they are not good. So how much is good? How much is good? Okay, so first of all, total, total food is almost total, uh, total numbers of, total numbers of, okay, apples. This is almost, total numbers of apples is almost 800 kg. 800 kgs. Okay, okay. So numbers of numbers of defective is almost defective apple that is not good, right? This is not a defective apple is almost defective apple is almost that is 25 to 7 persons of of 800 out of 800 to 7, 7 persons are worse. So I can write this one as a 27 by 100 into 800 zero and zero cancel. 8 in 27 into 8, 8 7 is 56, 5 in 8, 8 to the 16, 216, okay, 216 kg, 216 kg of apples are not good, okay, now numbers of, numbers of good apples are almost, good apples are almost, numbers of good apples are, so almost is, almost is, almost is 800 kg is the total apple, 
out of it, 216s are becoming, it is not good, right? So you have to find out of this, you have to find 800 total good divided by numbers of distracted. So subtract these two, so much of this, it is in the form of kg, okay? So it will be 4, 9, 9 minus 1, 8, 8 minus uh, 7, 7 minus 2, 7 minus 2, 5. So 500 kgs of apples are good. 500 kgs of apples are good. So 500 kgs of apples are, 584 kgs of apples are good. So you can copy down. So out of here you say, out of 1,000, 12,000 books published by the publishers, 2,614 books were in sold out in a month. So what version of the book was this was sold out? Okay, so we have to find, okay, two dadas has been given, we have to find in this, uh, we have to find the percentage, okay? And uh, total numbers of books is what? Total numbers of books is, total numbers of books, how much? Books is equal to how much? Uh, 1,200, or 12,000, okay? So numbers of books sold out, numbers of books sold out, okay? Numbers of books sold out is how much? So all is equal to 2,640. Okay, how much 2,640? Now, numbers of books. Okay, numbers of books sold out in percentage. Okay, sold out in percentage. Okay, in percent. In percent is equal to how much? You have to write 2640 divided by 12,000 because this is a total book into 100. We have to find the percent. So this is a hundred. So zero and zero cancel. Okay, one zero here is also cancel. Yes. Now divided by what is this answer? Is two six four divided by twelve. So two six four divided by twelve. So two six so twelve. Two one so two. Two three so six. Two two so four. Six two so twelve. Six two so twelve. So what is the percentage this book has been sold? 22 persons of books have been sold out, okay, in a month. 22 books of per, 22 persons of books have been sold out in a month. So you can check the screen. So this is our next question, that is question number eight. A relevant ticket cost of 720. A further tax of three persons of this amount is added to what is the total amount of the tickets? Okay, cost of ticket. Even what is it? Cost of ticket. Cost of ticket is what? Ticket is a must. Rupees 720. Rupees 720. Okay. And tax. Okay. Tax added is a must. Tax added is a must. Total tax added is, is 3 persons. 3 persons of 70. Okay. 3 persons of 720. Now, if I find this total amount of, total amount of the ticket will be a must. Total amount of ticket will be, total amount of ticket will be, ticket will be equal to what? This 720 plus tax at a 3 persons of 720, okay? Total amount of, you see at the very beginning ticket counter I have paid only, absolutely 70 but another tax has been added, means you have to pay another 3 persons of the tickets, okay? So you have to add more cost of the ticket that become what? 720 plus 3 by 720 uh, not 720, 100 into 720 so 0 and 0 cancel 2 5 is a 10 2 1 is a 2 2, uh, two 3 is a 6 2 6 is a 12 so if you multiply this 720 plus 3 6 3 is a 18 1 and 3 is a 9 10 divided by 5 so if you edit this one divided 5 2 is a 10 5 2 is a 10 again uh, 5 1 is a 5 uh, so 5 6 is a 30 so how much is this 720 plus 2 1 6 rupees so how much is this if you add them 7 4 1 point 6 rupees they will cost how much the cost of the ticket is how much 741.6 rupees they will cost. Okay, so this is your question number eight. So you can copy down. So this is our question number nine. If we serve Bhargav serve 32 persons of uh, Bhargav, Bhargav serve 32 persons of his income, and if we serve 16,000 per month, finance money income, that means 32 persons of his income. 
he used to sell. Okay, in a 32 person is almost 16,000, 1,600 money every month he used to sell. That means it is a 32 person of this money income. So we don't know his money income. So let us consider it. Let the money income, let is, let, let is, huh, money income bx okay we don't know okay so the question is that you say now we have to find okay according to question that is it okay according to question what is it 32 persons okay of his money income which is x is always equal to 1600 okay which implies that 32 by 100 okay into x is equal to 1600 now if i calculate this one okay so x will be equal to what? 1600 into 100 you send it, it becomes multiplication. 32 you send it, that it becomes y. Okay, 16 once the 16, 16 to the 100, 250 is the 100. So if the answer is what? 100 into 50. So what is his total income? His total income x is equal to 5000 rupees. So must is every month his monthly income is 5000 his monthly income is 5000 okay his monthly income is 5000 so next your question you see in examination 95 persons of the candidate passed and 60 persons 60 candidates fell how many candidates appeared okay so here you see we don't know the total numbers of candidates how much have been appeared and how much students got Fair pass, okay. They have already given only 95 percent in the pass uh, in a percentage they have given that candidate who has been passed. Okay, solution we are fine. So let us assume that let the to let the numbers of let the total numbers of candidate appear, let the total numbers of candidate appear be x okay and and let total numbers of candidate got pass. Okay, candidate pass B Y. Okay, so this is what we are getting. So from this you see we'll find that therefore okay uh, uh, numbers of candidate pass number of candidate pass number of candidate pass y is equal to 95 persons of 95 persons of total candidate appear okay that means what y will be almost y will be equal to 9 by 5 divided by 100 into x so which is equal to divided i see so if you divide it you will get 9.5 of x okay so 9.5 x is how much 9.5 this must student got pass okay that is what they have given now since you see since total candidate is x total candidate is equal to x okay candidate is equal to x the total candidate is what past candidate total candidate is equal to x okay so past candidate okay past candidate past fair candidate it will be equal to x that is what they say okay that means past candidate is almost 0 0.95 and fair candidate is about 60 so in place of parts we can write 0 0.95x okay 0 0.95x and a fair candidate in place of this how much it is 60 okay so if i write x this side so which implies that 60 will become x minus 0.95x so which implies that if i write separate this one your answer will become 0.05x is equal to 60 okay so which implies that which implies that i'm writing in this box okay so which implies that our x if i say x is equal to what is it 60 divided by 0.5 so if i remove this 0.5 then this my answer will become 60 into 100 divided by 5 so your answer is total student candidate passes how much 1200 students got passed uh, 1200 students got passed. So this must be the, not passed, so the, this must be the appear. Okay, out of this, if you multiply again by 0.5, then you will get the numbers of students who got 
fast. Okay, this much student got a fair during the exam, and out of this, 60 students got fair. Okay, so 60 students got fair, that means how many students got passed? 1140 students got passed. Okay, in the examination.